Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to the Dark Eye Chains of Satanov. When we last left off, we were in this house and we were trapped, or captured I guess I should say, by the two creatures that attacked us a few episodes ago at uh, Isida's camp. And we escaped obviously, because here we are. And actually one of those creatures is trapped under the basement, somewhere down in here. And uh, Neri is up here, and she's pretty exhausted at the moment because we had to pretty heavily util utilize her magic, which kind of basically uh, took every all the energy out of her. And now she uh, doesn't want to come down from these stairs, or at least she doesn't want to jump from this awning here. So she asked if we could make some way of uh, getting her down from there. So let's do that. Let's take a look at some of this stuff here, this beam. If the crossbeam hadn't broken, Nuri could climb down easily. And she's probably too tired to fix it, I bet. That's still intact. Oop. I have to get Nuri. I have to get... Oh, okay. It's like, what is he going way back there for? Yeah, the catwalk. You can jump on the catwalk. It even supports my weight. No. All right. Well, we can use a stool, maybe, to get up there a little bit. Look, a stair. Come on now. I don't know. I just want to sleep. Nuri! Tell me more about Fang Lari. Is it beautiful there? So she's asking about Fang Lari because at the end of the last, or towards the end of the last episode, we uh, had to lie to her basically to make her come with us. And uh, we tried to tell her the truth that we, she needs to go back to her realm, her fairy realm to uh, be safe from the seer and also keep Andergast and the rest of the world safe. And she didn't or she didn't want any of that. So we had to lie to her and say that there was a different realm basically called uh, Fanglari. So this is all just made up. So we let's see what he uh, comes up with for uh, telling her what this land is all about. Fanglari is a realm full of magic. The sky is as green as the fields in spring, and the stars sparkle even in daytime. I've never seen a green sky before. And if you don't come down here soon, you never will. What else is there? Green skies usually aren't good, at least not here and where I live anyway. That usually means tornadoes are <laughs> on the way. <laughs> Freedom of Fanglari. Everyone's as free as a bird in Fanglari. Everybody can fly, even a human like me. We could soar through the skies together, you and I. There are even rainbow beavers, but only in summer. In autumn, they migrate south to a different realm. If you want to see them this season, we'll have to hurry. That sounds odd. What else is there? Hmm, well, there's magic there. The most incredible thing is... Every fairy can do magic in Fanglari, without any pain. One wouldn't get exhausted? It really sounds like a different realm. Everything's brimming with fairy magic in Fanglari. That's why you don't lose your strength, because you use the power already in the wind or the sea. You're one with the whole world. That sounds marvelous. I want that. Hmm. Well, she has to come down, though. Come down. I'll show you the way to Fanglari, then. I... I'll try, but I'll need a second stair. <sighs> <laughs> All right, but then you'll come down for real, won't you? I promise. <laughs> uh, always, there's always something. All right, well, the obvious thing to do here, and that's what I'm going to try, is to use the saw to cut down this beam. Or You're almost there. Stick the what about the Master beam? Raven? We have to wait for him. Let's tell her about the truth about the Raven. That the uh, creature said that the Raven would take care of us, meaning that the Raven works for the Seer. But we could be talking about a completely different Raven. Who knows? I don't know. The Raven is dangerous. He's the Seer's spy. We have to get out of here before he returns. That's not true. Master Raven has always helped us. Trust me, would I ever lie to you? It's just that you never liked him. Yeah, that's true. You have to come with me, now.
Giron's words gave Nuri new strength. She wanted to know everything the fairy scholar had told him about the hidden realm. Where was it? Was it beyond the mountains? Was it beyond the swamplands? Why was it so secret? She imagined a land without time, without memories, and without future. A boundless land without a horizon. Geron's lie took shape, and in Nuri's head, the enchanted realm of Fanglari became real. Hmm. Meanwhile, the river took the small vessel northward, towards the smuggler's town, towards the stinking swamps of the Brinask marshes. Even Nuri didn't like it here. She had accepted that she had to leave Geron's world as long as the seer was trying to find her here. This made her sad again. Hmm. But perhaps she could take Geron with her. Maybe. Why not? Because it's impossible, Nuri. I have to go back to Andergast. Goswin? Meander Goswin? What is so important in Andergast? It is my home. Please open up. I'm sure this is the house Norta described to us. Perhaps there's no one home. There has to be someone. We need that prism thing. The fairy scholar said it's the key to Fanglari. Are you looking for Meander Goswin? In that case, you're wasting your time. How do you mean, sir? Don't be so formal. Nobody here gives a hoot about that formality crap. <laughs> they dragged Goswin from the Svelte, dead, oh, about a year ago. Great. Good and bad all at the same time. Good, because he's the key to sending Yuri back to her home world, and she doesn't know how and doesn't want any of that. And bad that he's dead, because now we don't know what to do. Who are you, anyway? My name is Ja. I am Geron. And this is Nuri. And this is the first time in Inkwi for both of you. How? How do I know that? I'm a good listener. I am the ear of the alleys and their whispering conscience. Impressive. I can provide you with one or two other items, too. Okay, uh, tell me about Goswin's death. Who did that to Goswin? He himself did, of course. Like so many other townspeople. And what's really behind that? No, oh, it's easy to make the most diverse of enemies in Inqui. Smugglers, whale hunters, Thawalians. You can ask over there at the bathhouse if you want to know more. If you're lucky, the bathwoman will spill the beans for free. Okay, uh, let's see what he knows about the prism. Goswin was in possession of a prism. Do you know anything about it? A prism? Without me hearing the tingle of coins in my pocket, all I can tell you is that he had one. What do you know about it? Well, not much really. You're cautious, eh? And damned right you should be. Okay. See you later. Watch your back. All right, so we can go this way. We can go that way. So Goswin is dead. How are we supposed to find the fairy gate now? We need to find out where the prism is. And, oh, statue of effort. I wouldn't dare to lean against the image of a wrathful sea god so nonchalantly. Well, one has to be favored by the gods to be able to do that. That's true. Thanks for the rain, effort. All right, so there's only, only two ways we can go, and then we can possibly get inside Goswin's house. So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to assume not. You don't believe me, do you? The man's dead. You don't put the man. Okay, let's uh, let's go in here. I wonder if this is the inn that, or the bathhouse that he's talking about. Kind of looks like it, considering all the steam that's coming out of it. 
Let's go in. Wait. You'd better wait outside, Nuri. Why? I'll... I'll have a look to see if the coast is clear first. All right. Hmm. You ask for the prism. I'll ask the dreamy man about Fenglari. <laughs> you do that, Nuri. You do that. Hurry up, will you? I have to deliver a message. First, dear Minka will deal with nasty wound. Arokin will kill me! I have to go now. I'll come back. You'll stay put, child. The wounds might get infected otherwise. Message can wait. Wait! I plan to be in the shark's tooth with my new bow by now. With bad wounds, you cannot make love, child. Now he'll be sitting there in the trough, getting all jittery. Okie doke. So it looks like people are enjoying their little sit in the bath, I guess. Let's see here, let's uh, start over here, I guess, with the bucket. Empty. Can we take it? Yep. And there's a frog figurine up here. Every single wart has been carved immaculately. There's no way this can be a simple stone carving. Take your little thieving fingers off, young man. All right. The bandage. They're smeared with that powder. No, 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 no. Okay, you can't take the bandages either. Uh, let's talk to the bath woman. A Norbad. There was once a Norbad community in Andergast. They were expelled from the town because their children were accused of stealing many things. Hmm. We'll take some more time, child. But you go ahead and undress. I don't even want a bath. I just have some questions. Questions? Nosiness can be dangerous around here. But you must know what's best for you. Okay. Looks like we can talk to her a little bit. I don't know how she'll feel about it. <laughs> that we're taking her time, but... Alright, let's ask about Goswin. Did you know a Meander Goswin? What business do you have with Goswin, child? Okay, um, friend of the family. He's a friend of my family. I wanted to pay a visit. You part of Goswin's, Miss Bokke. You look like you come from far. But visit Goswin, you can't anymore. Has died, little brother. Dragged his body from the Svelte back then. Nasty thing to behold. Who killed him? Who speaks of murder? Watch your questions, child. Yes, very true. No one ever said that he was murdered. Let's uh, see if she'll give up more information about Goswin. What was Goswin like? Good man, brother Meander. But in the end he went Meshuga, the Schlemmel. A taster he was. Uh. A boozer. I see. Babbling about different worlds all the time, and the key too. Prishim, he called it. Aye, who's to believe? Anyway, he's dead now. Boron knows why. All right. Uh, can we get inside Goswin's house? So, Goswin's house is unoccupied now. Goswin's house? The honest merchant Harm has Gekoif's house. Harm bought it. Ah. <laughs> like that she's kind of translating for her. It's kind of funny. Uh, okay, what about the prism? So you know about Goswin's prism. Where is it now? idea what you talk about. But you said... Listen, Minka wants to live a little while longer, so be quiet. Okay, fair enough. What kind of figurine is that? What? Boy, that is a frog. Out of stone. Gift from honest harm. It looks so real, as if it were hexed. Aye, was expensive gift. Okay. Uh, tell me more about harm. Who is this Harm? Honest merchant Harm. He owns most of Fishing Town. Is real blessing for region. Okay. Uh, what about her wound? Where did she get her wound? I don't ask questions. My work is to help. And could you do that somewhat faster too? Wounds need time. And the bathhouse. 
That's a nice bathhouse. How could you afford all this? Through friendly gestures. Friendly gestures? Yes. End of story. <laughs> all right. One last time about the prism. So you know about Goswin's prism. Where is it now? No idea what you talk about. But you said... Listen, Minga wants to live a... All right. So we're not going to get anything more out of her. I'll leave you to it then. Good. All right. How about the injured woman? Let's take a look at her. What you looking at? Never seen blood before? Or never seen a woman before? Will you hold still, child? Can we talk to the woman? I have a few questions. Just what I needed. Uh, tell me about your wound. Where did you get that wound? What business is that of yours? I'm just asking. Anyone who carries messages in Enqui lives a dangerous life. Who mugged you? Don't ask too many questions, baby face. Okay, but well, where was the message? What do you have to deliver? An important message. But if the bath woman takes much more time... Minka is not taking time. Minka is Toro. Okay, Araken. Who is this Araken? He's my employer. That's who he is. Now bugger off! Will you hold still, child? I don't like strangers who ask too many questions. All right. I was finished anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Who else is here? There's a guest. And a uh, tap. All that's missing is free beer now. Let's see, can we take the tap or will she uh, not like that? Oh, I see that there's a backpack here. Must belong to that girl. Let's take open the backpack. What do you think you're doing, snot face? I'm sorry. I mistook it for mine. Mm-hmm. That's nothing. I thought that might be something. Anything else in here other than that guest? Just the backpack. Oh, looks like there's like a cat or a dog or something. I can't quite make it out right there. All right, let's uh, take a look at the guest. What are you ogling at? Here sits a South Seafarer in a Northland tub. That's all there is to it. Ahoy there, matey. Get into the Brackwater. Uh, no thanks. Afraid of water, are we? Okay, let's see what he has to say. Aren't you the messenger's boyfriend? Whose boyfriend? The woman who's being tended to right now. Oh yes, of course. Ryard is my name. I'm a seafarer. Geron. From Andergast, right? I can tell from the accent. Been there once. Rotten town. Lots of pigs droppings. Unfriendly king. But a sweet maidservant. Oh, what rigging she had. Her name was, um... Shit, I forgot. I only have eyes for... Um... The messenger. Right you are. <laughs> ah, classy fellow. Classy. What message does your girl have to deliver? A message for harm. The honest merchant. But it's my policy to stay out of these things. I don't want to walk the plank. Okay. Who is this Araukan? The king of the Ghostlight Hill. He also has a stone figurine exhibit up there now. Animals made of stone. The damn critters look like they'll charge at you any moment. But it's closed right now. Alright, and uh, Harm. This Harm seems to be an important man. He seems to be. He's doing business with Alwyn Aroken. And what else? Don't ask too many questions, ship's boy. All I want to do is bathe my salmon here. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll leave you to your salmon. See you later. All right, so it looks like we've done just about everything we can do in here. Let's head outside. And Garen will be coming to Fenlari with me. The only thing he doesn't know yet is if there he is. Okay, I think this is a good spot to end the episode. We, uh helped Neri and we got some good information about the town that we're in. In the next episode we will I guess maybe go talk to Harm and see if maybe he can help us in our journey or maybe help us find the prism that we're looking for. 
So we will do all that stuff in the next episode of The Dark Eye, Chains of Satanov. Until then.